Hello everyone, my name is Kermo Shusha. I am senior lighting artist at Ubisoft. And today I am so excited to present my new tools, PV Lightbox. What is PV Lightbox? Have you ever dreamed to add the point light in your scene in Unreal Engine and turn off your shadow without having any light leaking in the other side? So let's say now your dream come true. So how we can use it and why I made these tools? I am going to show you something first. So one of the biggest issue we are facing as a lighter for the game, if you are working in the games, so there is no way to use the point light in Unreal or any other software with shadow on. Why? Because the point light cast shadow 360 degree, which is cost a lot of in the performance and going to make your scene and the game too heavy. So there is no way. So what we are doing normally, we can use spotlight and try to change the cone and just try to find the good place to add. But the problem is with the spotlight, you can't get some nice reflection. You can't get some nice uh, pounced light on the top, which is not make sense or is not related to the real life, right? But it's okay, we're using. But now, with my new tools, we can really use it. But let's show you first something. If we turn off this shadow, this the issue we always get, right? So we have this light leaking. And there is no way to hide this light in behind. So you have just move your point light. But what if you want, just keep your point uh, light here. So that's what my tools can do. The first thing I'm going to switch to screen space to show you how it works. And then I will show you how it works also with Lumen system. All you need to do just open the PV light box and drag and drop the light. Boom. As you can see here, we have this light, but you have all the setting as a light, default light. But if you go down, you will find light cookie. We don't want to go with light cookie now, but the important part here is BV control. All right. So now we have, we need to fix the Z first. So if we go to Z minus, so as you can see here, if you change the value, you can control of your Z light amount. Okay, that's the mask. And also from the top, because I don't want any light leaking to have on the top like this one. So we change the radius until here. All right. So if you go here, the light complex, you can really see the light, how it works. So if we extend it there, so now the light comes comes to the next, uh, second floor, but now we you don't have any uh, leaking light in the behind. Now we have the uh, light in behind, right? So this is the issue. But if you change the y minus the negative, boom. Let's change here until there right so now we have this one but what about this sharp edges okay so you have many options the first option you can extend this mask until this radius okay so let's say i'm gonna extend it there and here also and from the y now we extend it everywhere okay but what if you just want to keep the light in this uh, space so let's say you have a wall I'm gonna drag a wall here so let's say you have the wall here okay so how we can fix this so normally I'm gonna put this here so now we have this hard edge right so all you need to do you can go to the X fall off and uh, X minus and start to change the radius. Boom. We can get this nice lighting without any light leaking in behind. But we still have some uh, hard edges here from the Y. From the Y plus. Boom. When we change this one, 
now we have this nice effect you see the light there is no light in behind just the light only here so now the light only in this room so there is no light in behind and the light now it's like half a circle or half a sphere so like this that's it <laughs> but now the the problem also this light it looks fake right so there is no shadow but with light cookie if we go down the light cookie and change with this value with minus so let's say minus 0 0.3 now we can get this nice light cookie you can rotate it you can change the scale or even the rotation you can rotate this or you can rotate that also from here you can play with the scale okay to get some nice scale but also i put some nice textures so let's say you have this one okay and you want to have some nice lighting and uh, if you have wall uh, wall lights so we can get some okay, yeah i just need to do this you see now if we add more shadow and just make this 90 degree and if we go down change the x position now we can get this nice shadow effect right so that's it so now we have this nice shadow effect you can change your scale you can do whatever you want okay so now we have this nice lighting so what i'm gonna do now i even gonna copy this light to the, se the second um, second space so i will drag it and drop duplicate this light right so what we can see now the light it's back to leaking right so we have to fix the y and x so from here i will extend the minus y but the y plus i will change the radius to go back here oh because we have uh, make sure you don't have any fall off here okay so because the fall off will make this smooth uh, um, edges so put the fall off first on zero until we fix this issue okay so we will make it near to the wall and here boom we have until here okay so now what, what we can do we can change a color let's put this color to have some different color and also we can change this one to have different light cookie texture and maybe we can decrease the the amount okay so if we check let's hide this wall if we check here boom you don't have any light leaking between and the great thing if we turn this on you see the part in the middle it's already black but here you have this green and here it's green welcome to the new future <laughs> okay so if i turn this off the light we can get something crazy like this 
Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. So now you don't need to use the point light anymore. You can use mine with no issue. And you can control of your mask. You can put it anywhere. So you can even put here and start to change your mask as much as you can. So you can put here or anywhere. So you have all the control for all position. You can plug, you can plug the light from anywhere. So even if you have very thin wall, so let's say you have this thin wall. Okay. So if we have this one, let's change the X, but make sure first put this on zero until you fix the edges because if if the edges is here you see we have this some nice leaking light but we don't want to this to do this so to avoid this issue you see even with very thin thin uh, wall you don't have any light leaking okay so we can put this now if you go back to the lumen and turn this on oh sorry the lumen it works very well it works very well even if you change the the scale you see the lumen will be changed also so we have this nice effect okay so we can go back here and put this in something like red boom you can copy the light Okay, um, just put different color, yellow, and um, maybe green, and let's put them here. Okay, so now each floor has different lights. You see, it looks really nice, right? So now you have a separated light without using any cut shadow. So you don't need to add shadow anymore. So boom, you can use it. The only thing you have to care of, if you are using 5.5, you need to turn off um, mega light. I don't know why it doesn't work with mega light, but basically you have to select the light and search for mega light. Once you find the mega light, you can turn it off and you will see the, uh, the light works very well. This tool is 100% free for a commercial or uncommercial uh, using. So you can use it anytime. Feel free to using. Don't uh, feel free to share with your friend, with your community. Please don't forget to leave your comments and your feedback. Um, this tools it was one of my dream to make it happen and I really wish Unreal Engine they can push it more and to uh, upgrade these tools or they can develop it more because we really need these tools in, in this engine because these engines really deserve to have these nice tools all right so I can't wait to see your result you can use it in your games believe me it's gonna make your scene 100% difference. I already started using it in some scene and it looks way, way better. Uh, so don't forget to use the light cookie or even the, the, the fall off to just have some nice edges. Okay. So you will you can download from art station or my website. It's 100% free. Uh, Thank you guys and please leave your comment, share this video and see you in the next video. See you. Bye bye.